Oh, I f***ed up. Did you put a lot on there? I f***ed up. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, man, that was... <laughs> hey! Guys, welcome to Scuff Ones episode so-and-so. Yep. We're here with Will Neff, everybody. Let's go. So the way this works, guys, is we have these amazing Hot Ones sauces from this company called... Hot ones, I guess. They come in different temperatures, and the temperatures are measured in something called Scoville heat units. Yes. Okay? It goes from not so hot to super hot. And we do this all the time, but they keep adding new sauces. So some of these we've never even seen before. Like this the second season, one. This is season 20. So this is Hot Ones generic brand chili maple hot sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of that on there. Oh, far away. Technically, you were supposed to wait for a question, but you know what? If you want to go ahead and eat, brother. So, the way this works is, there's a question on the screen. I will read it to you. Since yep. you've already had one, I guess you can have another one if you want to. If they made a musical of your life, who do you want to play you and why? Who would I want to play me and why? It's a musical. So they gotta have some singing chops, right? This one's pretty easy for me because I get compared to this person a lot. Jack Black. I think Jack Black has amazing, amazing pipes. Very okay. funny dude. I would love to just see him go up there and crush it. The actor who would have to play me would have to go back in time because I'm looking for a young Denzel. Ooh. I'm talking Malcolm X Denzel. Get your hands off me, Denzel. Exactly. Yeah. That would have that would have played me. And for Melena, I can just I know who can play Melena. Who's that? Alexis Texas. Damn, what a casting. <laughs> that is a powerful Do you know who Alexis Texas is? No, I have no idea. The Queen of Ass? <laughs> what? Um, what movies does she play in? Um, a lot of parody films. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. I don't even get a real actor? Well, she's she's a good she's actor. An, she's a real actress. She did a, a, a unofficial sequel to Dune called Poon. <laughs> and she was very convincing. So the next sauce, Melina. Now this is what I've never had before. This is called Shaquandra's Banjihi Ranch. Oh, this is thick. That's a thick sauce. Question two. Ooh, this one's a rough one. What is the worst aspect about having a career in streaming? Okay, first, the sauce. Oh, so I'm calling bullshit. There is no chance in hell this is hotter than that. All right, <laughs> what's the worst part about streaming? Of having a streaming career. One thing that I'll just say of, of my friends and of the people that I stream with that I that I notice is like, I learned very early on never read the comments on anything. Anytime you're posted, it, it's just a, it's just an easy way to your mental space up. Yeah. But I think oftentimes as a streamer, people forget that you're a real person. There are a lot of things about the internet that make uh, anonymous comments and anonymous takes so easily. For me, watching a lot of my friends and, and, and people I really appreciate have very unkind things said about them is always very frustrating. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to make a sock account and just be like, yo, shut the f up <laughs> to people. <laughs> I, I constantly have to resist. That's one thing that I get a little upset about is that people don't see you as a person anymore. They True. see you as a, as a product. I think the viewers are the best and the worst thing about For streaming. Sure. Everything Will, Will said is spot on. And I and I also want to maybe take it a little step further. One thing that I hate about streaming, people have to like you. And I, I don't really like that because you have to sometimes cater to other people's needs and wants and not really your own because mm. if they don't like you, then it's worse for your business. And that's also one of the reasons why I really never give any takes one way or the other. Yeah. Because it's not worth it. I also don't know how that became the meta for NA streamers. It just seems like everybody's expected to talk about the drama now. I'm not gonna lie, my group of friends did, did kind of start that and they're part of the reasons why. I yeah. mean, your group of friends too, to be honest, we're all in the same group here. But the reason that people did that, you wanna know why? Because it got views. Because viewer count went up. I think the worst part is to filter myself. I hate to not be able to speak my mind. I have huh. a lot of horrible takes. Third sauce, okay? Yeah. This is the third sauce. Donis Kajio. Kajo. You nailed that pronunciation. <laughs> Question number three. What's your favorite job and or opportunity that you've had from being online? All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Okay. That is delicious. Getting spicier? Hell no. But that is tasty as well. This is still hotter <laughs> than these next two. The first one? Yeah. Favorite job I've ever had? I was a tennis teacher growing up. It was the best job of all time. I just rode my bike to the courts, taught tennis for like 10 hours, got a TAM, flirted with lifeguards, failed, 
It was a wonderful time in my life. Best job or opportunity that streaming has given me. I grew up loving Saturday Night Live back before it became an abomination. Growing up, all I wanted to do was emulate people like Chris Farley and Belushi. Is that where your dog's named Farley? Yeah. Ooh. Ultimately, in my family, there's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of stress. And like a lot of funny people, I derived my value from being able to make my aunt laugh, make my mom laugh, make my dad laugh. So streaming allowed me to do something like Donna, where I got to go up there and just do something that I felt very confident at and something I really enjoy, which is like playing a character and making people laugh. It was so much fun. If you never saw it, I did a show as a, a, a woman from New Jersey named Donna, and I would take take calls, and I would give love and sex advice. When I first pitched Donna, I was working for Comcast, right? And Comcast is very uh, television. They're very meticulous about the way they do things. And when I first pitched this show, I was like, yes, I, I will be doing a character in drag. And Comcast was so worried that this character was transphobic. And I was like, it's not even a trans character. It's, it has nothing to do with that. But it was going through all these like rounds of approval to make sure that it wasn't a transphobic character. So what I did was I leaked Donna to Hassan's audience, which is arguably like one of the most progressive audiences on the planet one night. I like put up clips and they were like, oh, this is really funny, this is great. And I went back to Comcast and I was like, see, if yeah. they don't think it's transphobic, you're good. Oh my God, it actually worked? Yeah, it worked. I did do three test episodes that never saw the light of day. This was so awkward. Imagine I'm doing Donna, hello. And I have my guest, and it's just a room full of executives sitting there quietly. Like big boy executives. Like big boy Comcast executives. And they were sitting there in complete silence, like not laughing. And I had to do like an hour and a half episode that never saw the day. That sounds like Three hell. times. Three oh times. Oh my God. What's That's the best job or opportunity you guys have gotten through the, streaming? The best thing from streaming for me, Melena. Because without streaming, I wouldn't have met her. That was based. Am I an asshole now if, if I don't say Nick? Yes. Uh, a lot of different cool experiences. And then of course Nick. Nick is. No, I don't even think you even like me that much. Number four, Los Calientes Verde. My question for Will is yeah. what age did he first learn to roll a blunt? And oh. can he confirm that Ludwig rolls blunts? I cannot confirm that Ludwig rolls blunts. I don't know if that's a thing. I haven't smoked with Ludwig. I'm gonna be honest, I don't smoke as much anymore. When I was like late teens, early 20s, I was smoking. I learned to roll a blunt probably when I was around 18, 17. That's like when my older friends started going to Rutgers. And I definitely learned how to roll a blunt at Rutgers. What's Rutgers? Rutgers oh. University in New Jersey. Okay. I don't do the weeds. You ate a funny chocolate once. That was because you were a bad influence and my mom was right, so. I'll tell you a funny weed story quickly. Let's hear it. My dad was like a military guy. He found my weed stash when I was young, like 16, 17. He made me bury it. Like in the dirt? grave? Yeah. How like far did you How have far to dig it down? Not far. Okay. <laughs> he was basically like, if your mother ever found out, it would kill her. Little did I know, later on in life, I'd smoke weed with my mom. Okay, this is ghost pepper hot sauce. Ooh. This is 30, this is almost the same hot as the last one. Uh, how did you end up on Twitch and how did your streaming career start? Ooh, that it's one, hot. I'm gonna sit in a little bit. How did I get into streaming? Okay, some of you may know Hassan Piker. I used to be at BuzzFeed. I left BuzzFeed, I went to full screen. And after I left full screen, I went to work for a company called TYT, where Hassan was. And I helped him develop and make a show called The Breakdown. And then I got fired. I set like a kill date for myself. I was like, all right, if I'm facing 30 and I still haven't figured sh in the industry, I, this isn't for me. I got drunk with Hassan one night. And he was like, buy a gaming PC, so you should stream. And then he actually convinced me to buy a gaming PC off Amazon, like a core power one, 600 bucks from Walmart. And I started streaming League. I started having fun with it. That's, that's the reason I started streaming. How long did it take before it was like functioning? Like you could do it as a job? Bro, I was at 14 viewers for like five months. Man. I never had that 14 viewer grind. Yeah. I went live day one, we had 500 viewers. And that was 10 years ago. So imagine that today, it's like a few thousand. That's wild. Because of chance. Nick did the same thing for himself. He's like, I'm pushing 30. If if I haven't made it in this industry and like before I'm 30, so I was 27. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit. I That's said, what he said, 
because I, I wasn't really trying hard. Because again, I've been a partner for 10 years, but I never really put in my, my effort mm. until I was 27. And when I turned 27, I'm like, you know what? I got until like I'm 28 or 29. And if I can't get 4,000 viewers consistent, I'm going back to school. Because I, I kept trying to like copy chances, play games like he did. It didn't really work for me. But I had a Milena mm. who I could exploit for views. Mm, you did. That's why I got very mentally ill, yeah. But it oh. paid off. All yeah. right. Mm, cool. Oh, right. I have not had this one yet, and I'm excited about it. We got the Mushroom Mayhem. Yes, Mushroom Ooh. Mayhem. This is almost twice as hot as the last one. Ask me a difficult one here. Calm. Hassan or your girlfriend? Damn. One of them's gonna die? I don't even know what this means. I mean, if one of them's gonna die, it's gotta be Hassan. He's had a very full life, <laughs> and I don't think he gets as much out of it as Caroline does, so like, he'll, he'll get that. Right, if it's a question of die, <laughs> if it's a question of like, who would I call to have my back, that, that depends, because like, I've known Hank for so long. It's a very interesting question, because I think ultimately, the truth of the matter is this. Your relationship with your friends will always be different than the relationship with your loved one, right? No matter how you try and frame it, even if you say your partner is your best friend, there's some level of detachment that you can like share ultimate truths with your best friend and know that there's like no judgment. I still put on kitten gloves around my girlfriend because I love her and I, I treat her better than I treat Aww. Hassan, but maybe that's not as honest. I do, right? I do not have kitten gloves with Melina. The last thing I'll say, and this is the realest thing, and it's sad, I am not as close with Hassan as I was three Aww. or four years ago. And I think ultimately that is streaming. Streaming is this very strange occupation. You commit your life to it, you commit your time to it, you commit your energy to it. And I think it cr creates this really weird echo chamber too, where everything you talk about on stream, you feel like is kind of the nexus of the universe when, when ultimately it's just what's going on in your stream. I don't see Hassan nearly as much as I did before streaming. We used to hang out, we used to go out every weekend and now I doubt I could get him out for anything less than, you know, if I got engaged or something. I'm not gonna lie, I feel you brother. Yeah. With, with Chance, like me and Chance like eight years ago, Yeah. we were a lot closer than we are today. Yeah. Even though we live together. Mm -hmm. Like uh, there'll be times where like, I will not see Chance for three months. That's crazy. And we live in the same house. He lives in the room. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm still excited to see him every time I yeah. do. I oh, love, yeah, still love course. the guy. You know, you know, Chance is actually leaving soon. Uh -huh. um, he's moving out of his own house. You're which probably is... going to see him more often than what you do. Yeah, we might actually see him more often now. Yeah. Which is going to be interesting. The last but... thing I will say about this topic in particular is Caroline is a much better girlfriend than I am a boyfriend. Not because I'm a bad boyfriend. I just have a really hard time letting people into my problems. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. By the way, I didn't really know Caroline. Like She's I knew, awesome. I knew of her until she came down. Yeah. And I'm not being Pogo at all. I kind of fell in love. She's great. Like, she was like- I did too. She was like, She's oh, a my, oh my God. I'll, I'll tell you guys a story. It was crazy. The moment I knew I loved Caroline, I'm a different guy. I've, I've told everybody, I like Shield Maiden, right? I like yeah. real- Like Melinda. Bad yeah, I like I like a that can beat me up it's if she was so inclined to. Yeah, me too. And I had been talking to Caroline for a while and we were kind of in our flirtatious phase and she used to work at nightclubs. The moment I fell in love with Caroline, this is a true story, I, I went to go visit her at a nightclub and she was working the front of a nightclub, right? She has the clipboard, she's taking tables in for like buyers. So I come up and she's like, well, good to see you. And I'm like, hi Caroline, how are you doing? And this guy was like, hey, like I have a table. And she's like, just one second. And he's like, oh, oh. So I'm talking to her and this dude is being so rude. And he steps over the rope and he like pushes her. And she turned around and just clocked him and pushed him over the velvet rope. She's like, don't step over my rope, mother. And I swear that was like the daydreamer <laughs> I've been. And I just like her beating the I this dude like screaming at her. I was like, <laughs> uh, you probably got a little bit excited. Oh, I loved it. Oh my God. I, I loved it so much. That's crazy. I would, I would pay to see that. That would be really cool. Dreams of Calypso. This is the first one over 100,000 school blue units. It has pineapple, mango, bell peppers, and all this stuff. It looks Ooh, good. Ooh, I seven. love a, a tropical hot sauce. I've been cruising so far. Yeah, me too. Maybe this is hubris, but. Okay, 
What is your hottest movie take? Something about The Godfather, maybe? The Harry Potter movies. What? Gosh, those movies suck. <laughs> oh my god. Is that just because they're bad movies? I don't like Harry Potter. <laughs> he hates Harry Potter, apparently. I don't like anything about that little glasses wearing b- <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I was f***ing with magic before any of these nerds got into magic. And they ruined magic. They made magic so f***ing lame. Wingardium Leviosa! Shut the f*** up. You're not a wizard, you're a b***. I don't think you can like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. I think you got to choose one. You got to choose your magic. That magic is bitch made. All of her names are racist. Cho Chang. I saw, uh, no one else realized? I thought Hermione was hot. True. When I was young, and that's why I went. Factual. Not now as a 33 year old. When I was, we are the same age, me and her. Don't be weird. How was this hot sauce See, compared to the other ones? It was not that hot. It was delicious though. It was very tasty. Okay. Uh, it, it's got that sting. Guys, this is Will's first test at the bomb. Okay. All right, we're getting saucy. What is one thing people assume about you that's not true? I'm waiting for any sort of reaction, but this guy just doesn't care about the bomb. One thing that people assume about me that's not true. Will. So, yeah. How's your mouth? I'm good. You're kidding me. That's not bad. Are you okay? Like, Will. Do you have no Will. taste buds? Will. That's not that bad. Will. I expected a lot more out of that. Will. Are you are, being serious? Are you okay? Are you being serious? Yeah. So is this stuff that like Twitch audiences assume about me? Sure. I One thing I'll say is I think people assume that Hassan and I are very similar in our takes and like, okay. and I think politically we align pretty accurately, but there are a lot of things about us that are, are very different. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Coming up in the shadow of a bigger streamer, like sure. I did. Yep. Do you feel that it's a gift and a curse? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay, that's how I feel too. Like there's been times like like this AAA company that we were working with and like Chance got in trouble. And I'm like, well, what about me? Cause I also got invited to the dinner. And they were like, you can't do this because you're associated with him. Even though I've done nothing wrong. I lost out on a few opportunities because I'm, I'm son of 9-11 guy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, taco vibes only. So this is six times harder than the bomb. <laughs> oh, I f***ed up. Did you put a lot on there? I f***ed up. Taco vibes only? Bro, I f***ed up. Okay, here we go. Go. Uh, if you could swap lives with a director or an actor for a day, who would you choose and what would you do? And why is it forcing? Pete Davidson. And I'd f*** my brains out. Just what all the girls use access to? Yeah. It'd be, should be a one day f***-a-thon. Why does Pete Davidson get so many girls when he kind of looks I like a I don't. Dude? No. You know what it is? Is once you start hitting in that ballpark, that's just where you stay. Like, so you you think if I hit one ball in that ballpark, I'm gravy, as long as it's public. So, yes. Ballpark. So like, I'm with this Milena. Yeah. Everything from now on will be. So do you think... Do you think that's like attractiveness, or do you think that's like clout? Clout. Outside of Pete Davidson, if I could change places with one director or actor, who's the Mandalorian? That's my dad. It's your dad? Pedro Pascal. Yes, Pedro Pascal. I t Pedro Pascal has dope opportunities right now. And he's an awesome guy. The bomb was hotter than Taco Bubs. I'm giving it to you. I'm letting you dab it up. Oh boy. That is crazy. Your flight with all your streamer friends crashes on a lonely island. <laughs> you need to start eating each other to survive. Who do you eat first? All my streamer friends? hassan has got cake. Those butt cheeks, that's good eats. Woo! God damn! Woo! Sh motherfucker, god damn. That one just hit like, oh! That's the only one he's reacted to is the last dab. <laughs> oh! Oh, man, that was... Oh! You survived them really well up until... No, nah, that wasn't hot. I was just thinking about Hassan's butt cheeks. <laughs> okay. Austin, awesome show those abs. I take a snack down on those. I feel like the hot sauce is going to make me say dumb sh uh, you know what? I'll keep it a buck. I'll get really real. I'd eat gentle and meowry. Okay. I feel like I had to throw a girl in there. I couldn't just be eating all man butts. Um, How about you, Nick? I, I, I would just, I would literally just kill myself. Dude, oh, come on. That? I, I would find like a coconut. You fence-sitting <laughs> made. Name some people you would eat or shut the f*** 
cop. How about a plane with OTK crashes? Miz, instantaneously, because he's too annoying. <laughs> oh, okay. He, he would make it all about him. That was about such a zone? fast turnaround. He Miz, Tech Zone, and then You know, who else? It'd, be, it'd be Miz, and then I'd eat S-Fan, because I feel like they would just w- talk too much and end up you taking You probably wouldn't space. eat Tech Zone, right? you just kill him, and then just No, I feel away. like Techie would do his best to survive as well. Just bro. There's a bonus question. Uh, if you and a gorilla were to get the freak on, would you be the top and who would be the bottom? I mean, a gorilla is f***ing me. <laughs> Ooh, who do you think will win League of Their Own and why? Ludwig, I do think that this year, he had a tremendous year. I think that Lud's gonna win. Sure. Not because he's had the best year. Okay. It's because he has his fingers in the most pies. He does, he does have his Every, fingers. His finger is in Mr. Beast's pie, XQC's pie, OTK's pie. Really? By the way, thanks guys. Thanks for having me. I had a wonderful time. You have fun? I had a great time. Oh, we haven't even cracked these at all. These are fresh fresh. These are brand new. Oh, d- yeah. <laughs> I've never-